वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स ऑलरेडी वी हैव स्टार्टेड ब्लॉक एट सोल्यूशंस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर नेक्स्ट एल पी दैट इज ऑफ सोल्यूबिलिटी एम आर एम इज टू डिड्यूज दैट डिफरेंट सब्सटेंसेज हैव डिफरेंट सोल्यूबिलिटी इन वॉटर हियर डिड्यूज मीन्स टू कंक्लूड टू इन्फर समथिंग टू कम टू अ कंक्लूजन now here main keyword is solubility and the resources required are exceed content book notebook s3 of volume book four transparent tumblers with equal amount of water and some salt sugar baking soda refined flour refined flour is all purpose flour these are the resources required to perform the activity how did we make a saturated solution of salt see here i am talking about the previous activity which we have performed in lesson plan 2 how many spoons of salt did we dissolve in a half beaker of water to make a saturated solution will we require the same amount of sugar to make the same amount of water saturated what do you think here if we take the same amount of water then same amount of sugar will be required to make it saturated let's see we would need different amount of sugar as the solubility of sugar may not be the same as salt here this activity you have to perform at home fill equal amount of water in each tumbler now add half a spoon of salt in first tumbler half a spoon of sugar in second half a spoon of baking soda in third and half a spoon of refined flour in fourth keep adding till no more of it can dissolve that means you have to make again a saturated solution count the number of spoons of each of the substance added now how many spoons of salt sugar baking soda and refined flour did you add to make their saturated solutions what do you conclude from this activity this is very important what do you conclude from this we need different amount of salt sugar baking soda and refined flour to make their saturated solutions in equal amounts of water this shows that different amounts of different solids dissolve in the same amount of water why do different amount of solids dissolve in the same amount of water why is it important to know the solubility of different substances how is it helpful different amount of solids dissolve in the same amount of water because their solubility is different solubility is the ability of a substance to dissolve it tells us the amount of solute that dissolves in a given amount of solvent knowing the solubility of substances helps in daily life while making sweet dishes we measure and add sugar based on the amount that will dissolve in water one more example is here that is farmers measure and dissolve fertilizers in water while spraying on plants in chemical labs and industries also while making solutions knowing solubility helps to save chemicals by knowing the exact amount that we can dissolve in another substance why do we stir milk after adding sugar to it or while making lemonade how can we make solids dissolve in liquids faster while making solutions stirring and heating help to dissolve solids faster in liquids stirring milk after adding sugar or dissolving sugar in hot milk helps it to dissolve faster now i have given you two questions here try to solve this what is solubility after watching this video this question is more clear to you now what is solubility so you can answer this question easily next is what do you think what happens when a saturated solution is cooled think about this question also then you have to solve your s3 and write practice questions from your content book 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन टू टेन इन योर नोटबुक हेयर आई एम शेयरिंग यू दिस एस थ्री ऑल्सो ऑफ ब्लॉक एट थैंक यू चिल्ड्रेन फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो